Imagine the Arctic, a place where temperatures can plunge to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Yet polar bears thrive here. How? They have thick fur, almost 10 centimeters in length, that insulates them from the cold. Underneath this fur, a layer of fat, up to 11 centimeters thick, provides buoyancy and further insulation. Their paws, large and round, act like snowshoes, distributing weight while walking on snow and ice. This is adaptation in all its glory. In contrast, the desert-dwelling camel has adapted to survive in extreme heat and water scarcity. Their humps store fat, providing energy when food and water are scarce. The camel's thick coat reflects sunlight and insulates them from the heat. Their long legs keep their body away from the hot sand, even their nostrils close to keep out blowing sand. Next, consider the chameleon, a creature that has taken adaptation to a whole new level. They change color to hide from predators, regulate their temperature, and even communicate. Their eyes can rotate and focus independently, allowing them to observe two different objects simultaneously. A truly unique adaptation, but adaptation isn't just about physical characteristics, it's also about behavior. Take for instance the migratory habits of birds. Birds like the Arctic Tern travel over 11,000 miles from the Arctic to the Antarctic each year to escape the harsh winter. This incredible journey is a behavioral adaptation to changing environments. And then, there are adaptations for acquiring food. The long neck of a giraffe is an excellent example. Their long necks allow them to reach leaves and buds in treetops that other herbivores can't get to. Finally, consider the defense mechanisms of animals, another form of adaptation. The porcupine, for example, has quills that can detach easily when threatened. Once detached, the quills can lodge into a predator's skin, causing painful injuries and deterring attacks. To summarize, animal adaptation is an incredible process that enables species to survive and thrive in their environment. It can be physical, like the thick fur of a polar bear or the long neck of a giraffe. It can be behavioral, like the migratory habits of birds. Or it can be a defense mechanism, like the quills of a porcupine. Understanding animal adaptations helps us appreciate the complexity of life on Earth. It reminds us that every creature, no matter how big or small, has its unique place in the ecosystem. And it underscores the importance of preserving these diverse habitats so every creature can continue to adapt and thrive. So the next time you marvel at a chameleon changing its color, remember, it's not magic, it's adaptation. And it's what makes the animal kingdom so incredibly fascinating.